Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and yeah, I just got back from the beach where I spent some time with my two ENFP and ENTP friends. So if anyone's wondering where I get all my ideas from, well, truth of the matter is I have an army of ENXPs out there that feed me all kinds of inspiration, all kinds of ideas and all kinds of things and I just put them all together. That's what I do. I put things together. I like blending together concepts. I like exploring different interpretations. And I search for the purest answer, the purest explanation, the definition that is the most helpful, the most healthy, that serves the best purpose in guiding humanity towards increased self-understanding. And I had a long, a big goal, really, to connect Carl Jung's archetypes with the MTI. And first I started out with making an Enneagram test where I connected the Enneagram types with the cognitive functions. And of course there were problems here. There were elements in the Enneagram descriptions that sometimes overlapped with a person's cognitive functions. But all too often the differences were too big and the systems too different for the two to overlap completely. I ended up noticing and picking out things that I felt fit with the cognitive functions and the Enneagram taught me a lot about the cognitive functions that I wouldn't have known if I looked at the cognitive functions purely as rational thinking processes. I wanted to get down to the emotions that drive the cognitive functions and our behaviors and how these are reflected and they play a key role in the archetype and the Enneagram expression, but they are not the Enneagram type. So. In my next step, in today's Enneagram test, what I've begun doing is connect it more towards the archetypes and towards our health. I started mapping out Enneagram types using authentically and truly the Enneagram definitions of the types that are spread and the most common and uh, that are the best across the internet. I tried to be honest with the Enneagram system. I tried to maintain its integrity as much as I could as I started looking at com uh, comparisons and contrasts between the Enneagram types and the archetypes. And the archetypes that I mapped out in the archetype test, uh, the hero, the muse, the rival, they all serve key purposes in explaining our health what we identify with, what we want to be, what fixations we have. And being an adventurer, being a sidekick, being a seeker, it's all kind of down, it all comes down to fixations. If we get attached to it and if we pursue it with uh, while neglecting other important parts of ourselves, we are hurting ourselves in the long term and we are causing an unhealthy fixation. So all Enneagram types are based on unhealthy fixations, uh, unhealthy ideas that we have about ourselves. Um, now the test is very similar to the normal Enneagram tests. I talk about, for example, being liked, wanting to be liked, seeking approval, uh, for being told when you're right or wrong, uh, to how to make decisions and uh, whether you want uh, to be close to other people or whether you want and prefer to be alone. Uh, if it's uh, important for you that people agree with you, that you, if you feel like you are good at getting your, what, your way, if you feel like you're good at getting your will through, um, how it comes down to accommodating your own needs. This test should give you a fairly good answer on what your Enneagram type is. Now, what I tried to do is I tried to polish out and take out all stereotypes about these Enneagrams because stereotypes keep on popping up where suddenly sevens become hedonists and twos become smattering helpers and uh, notions that start to come up, fla flavors of the Enneagrams. And I think flavors are really important. I think you can talk about uh, the ET7 or the EF7 or the IF7 if you want. You can talk about different flavors of these Enneagram types, uh, ways to express these Enneagram types, and also what you can do with uh, the cognitive functions is you can use them parallel to, not synonymously with the Enneagram, but parallel to the Enneagram, talking about EN7s or talking about INs uh, from certain Enneagram types, talking about INFJ9s or INFJ5s. I think that's the best way to go about the Enneagram. And using that way, that approach, you can start narrowing down different INFJ behaviors and different ways to grow up as an INFJ. 
Now, some INFJs grow up feeling deeply misunderstood, where others feel like uh, they are excluded or that it's hard for them to exercise their will in reality, that they people don't listen to them. Some grow up feeling misunderstood. Some grow up feeling uh, like... Uh, uh, they need to earn other people's love and approval. And uh, it all comes down to how we were brought up and what we were taught growing up. And uh, that's what the Enneagram tells us that the MBTI doesn't. The Enneagram tells us how to process how we grew up and what made us become the persons we are today. And the MBTI type, what it shows you is what you need to do to become more true to yourself. The, the MBTI type shows you parts of your personality that you might not have developed yet, parts that you're missing, parts that you've repressed, because you are too attached to a certain Enneagram fixation or towards a certain archetype. So what I'm advocating is learning about uh, how you express yourself and finding healthy ways to express yourself. Hopefully this video is a good kickstart on that. Hopefully the test will give you some basic ideas on your Enneagram type. And soon I will be showing exactly how to use the Neo Jungian system in Paramount with Enneagram. I have managed to unify the two systems and to find ways to use them together, retaining both important lessons of both systems. The MBTI about our nature and our needs and our motivation. The, MBTI, the Enneagram about our developed needs, our developed self-expression and developed archetype. So hopefully that will provide a deeper self-understanding beyond simply just knowing your type or beyond simply just knowing your Enneagram. Thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.